Natty heads to Pitt, the River City rivalry, 5.30 p.m. Central Time on the CW. Pitt currently a seven-point favorite with a total of 45. And this one's interesting, right? Because it opened short, opened like three and a half, somewhere around there. A lot of pit money came in early. This thing got up to seven and a half. It's been bet back down just a little bit. Pitt is seven and seven against the spread as a home fave in their last 14. Cincinnati, 0 oh and four against the spread as a dog last year. Not good. Not great. Uh, but they do have a new coach, Scott Satterfield. They got a new quarterback, Emory Jones. Of course, I'm sure some of you remember him being at Florida under Dan Mullen. He uh, he started over Anthony Richardson, and then he went to Arizona State, and now he is at Cincinnati for his last year of eligibility. Looking at the PPA margin numbers on this, these are two pretty good teams, like two actually really good teams. Um, you look at this, Cincinnati is number eleven. In PPA margin, Pitt is number eight. Now, granted, both of these teams played weak teams in week one. However, if you're a good team, you take care of bad teams, right? Offensive success rate for Pitt, number 18. For Cincy, it was number 12. Defensive success rate, number 12 for Pitt, number 91 for Cincinnati. So the defense number's not great. Um, and the, the good news is that the weakness for the Cincinnati defense appears to be their secondary. They were number 120 in PPA per pass against their FCS opponent. Um, but, I mean, they did defend the pass, you know, 54.17% of the time last week. Uh, Pitt is not going to throw the ball that much, even with new quarterback Phil Djokovic. Um, looking at this, at, Pitt likes to run the ball. They were number eight in PPA per rush. Cincy, not great numbers stopping the run last week. Everything Pitt did on offense worked last week. Now on the other side, Cincinnati, good offensive numbers, uh, looked pretty good everywhere, and of course Pitt's defense looks fantastic. I mean that's that's a hundred percent what old Nardog does, right? So Narduzzi and company, they're uh, they're looking good. My issue here is I don't necessarily trust Pitt to cover as a you know a touchdown or more favorite. This line is at seven. My power number says Pitt minus 4.7. Uh, the raw stats say Cincinnati minus 0.13. Uh, it, it appears that Cincy a little more explosive. They were number three in offensive explosiveness. Um, Pitt is not explosive at all. So, uh, okay, I, I think Cincy can hit a couple of big plays here and there. I think they can stay within this number. I'm going to take Cincinnati. I will take Cincinnati on this. Uh it's going to be very interesting. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.